Hi friends, it's Re. We're starting out this video with Rachel because I am really hungry. I haven't eaten in hours and I'm already dressed up as into an alien and I thought she's never eaten before. To be technical, she kicks herself out when I need to eat. And I thought it would be really interesting to see what her thoughts are about eating and to see if she can stay present while I'm eating. So if you don't know the whole story, Intimate Alien is a part of me and she is always inside of me this much, but when I'm her, I let her in this much. And so it's like she has her personality come through more than my regular blended personality. For more information, I'll link a video below so you can get the whole scoop. But in essence, Intimate Alien has never eaten before. And I'm going to see what happens when I attempt to see if she can eat. So I'm just going to like prepare a couple things and we'll see if she can eat them and what her thoughts are on food in general and like what it's like to taste something. Okay, we're back. I have a couple of random things. I've got some tomatoes that I got at the farmer's market from my favorite farm, Hand Sewn Homegrown here in Salt Lake City. And then I have a brownie that I made last night that has apricot jam in it and apricot jam on top. And I made the apricot jam from the apricots that I grow in my yard. So they're like energetically very uh, rich foods. I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not, but we shall see. So I will get her and see what she has to say about food and then we'll try to eat some. Hello! Hi there! This is an exciting day! I love what Rachel is doing here. I love that we are in the kitchen and there are things in front of me. So let me, um, let me tell you what I am feeling right now. I look at these things that Rachel prepared and I just see objects and it is so funny. It is like, it is like you thinking that you would want to put a table in your mouth. I see these and to me they, they appear so solid. They are so, they are so solid. They are solid objects. How can I put them in myself? On my planet, I am floating energy, so I do not have teeth or even a body to store them. So when you eat these things, you mash them up in your mouth and then they go into your stomach, but I do not have a stomach. So it is very weird for me to think that I would, I would eat something. It is a foreign thing to me. So there is nothing that I want to do with these these things. I do not want to eat them. But I would imagine that a a taste of of it a taste on the tongue might be interesting. So we'll do that. I I do not feel comfortable eating even though Rachel does. So let us taste it and um, then we will see what what I feel about it then. I will get a knife one moment. <laughs> I have a knife now. I will cut it and then I will put it on Rachel's tongue and then I will see what it tastes like. Oh, it's a sweet. I do like it very much. And Rachel's body is saying, oh, that would be a good thing to eat. So I understand your desire to eat. <laughs> and how funny it is for someone to lick a tomato, but it is a different thing for me. So let's taste, let's taste the jam. Let's taste that. Let's see. <laughs> it's even weird to pick it up, knowing that you would put it in your body. Let's see. Oh, that is sweet too. I very much like the taste of these things. They are very interesting. I can imagine that your world is so rich with these sensorial pleasures. 
We understand how you would spend so much time with food and preparing it and, as Rachel does, creating it. Creating it. She created this brownie from many different points of view, from a recipe, but also from her knowledge of, of using different ingredients in place of others and her preferences for sweetness and moisture. There are so many things that go into your foods that are remarkable and I love that you spend your time with that and that also, also you get pleasure but you also get nourishment. You have created this story for yourself that you live by the foods that you eat which where I live is not true. We do not have food and we do not have bodies and we do not need vitamins. So it is very interesting how you live and I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it and I appreciate the tasting that just happened. I had not done that before and I, even though I, I do not want to eat it, Rachel's going to eat it right away when we are done filming because she is, what she says, hungry. And I did feel her body wanting it. So it is amazing how you live with these creatures. Your consciousness and your body are so intertwined, but yet separate in a way. It is very interesting. So that is all. I will go now. I will let her eat. But let us know if you want us to try something else. Please do. Let us know. Because this is a very fun thing. I wanted to come here to experience your world and now I'm experiencing Rachel's stomach grumbling. So that's all for now. We very much love you and we will see you later. Bye.